Okay, so um, let's go through the makeup I've used in the last six months. Now, some of it I've completely used up, and some of it is, like, either really, really shitty, and I'm going to be completely honest with you about it, or it's just gone bad, and we really got to, like, ooh, that hurt. I just caught my eye ring. Um, or it's, it's got to go, because we just can't use makeup that's old and expired and, like, going to hurt our faces. So... Let's go through this first real quick. Um, I really wasn't trying to do like a whole lot of samples and stuff. It really hurt my eyebrow. Okay, it's not bleeding, but we're cool. Um, I wasn't gonna try to do a whole lot of samples, but I guess like I will, so that you guys know like if I like it or not. This was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer Light to Medium, like little quad. I actually took all the colors, mixed them together, put them in a container, and used them as a contour or bronzer. Um, don't hate it. Won't buy it. It's too expensive and I just wasn't that impressed. I like my NARS concealer, which is going to be in the next video um, in six months because it's. Um, I had to pull the, the stopper out of it so that I can get the rest of the product out. I'm very, very sad. Okay, this is actually another one of the same thing, so it went into the same container, you know, all got used for that. So we're done with that. Okay, so I got this. I traded this in for points with Ipsy. It's the Aurora Lip Ink Pen Marker thing, and I thought it would be cool. It is, like, shit. Like, it is shitty. It is splotchy. And when you use it on your lips, it, like, makes your lips flake off no matter how, like, look at it. It just looks like shit. Like, it is, like, the worst product, like, ever. I don't know what the hell was going on with it, and I hate. It's the 24-hour Lively Lip Stain in Spice, and I hate that I used Ipsy Point on it because I think I used quite a bit. I thought it was going to be cool. I mean, it would be a pretty color, but, like, it literally, like, makes your lips, like, shit. And it, it stinks to no end. It smells raunchy. So that was bad. That was a no-no. Um, I have this Elf Hydrating Primer. I got three uses out of it, and it was empty. Like, like there's nothing, like, in there. Like, you can't even take this off. But there was, like, I literally used it. So I don't know if somebody, like, I don't, I got, I get Elf from, like, Walmart and, like, Dollar Tree, but I also was subscribing to their, like, service at one time, their box, but, like, there's, like, you can see there's, like, literally nothing in there, and I used it three times, and I was, like, where'd it go? So, I was, like, okay, I won't buy that again. Um, I got this for review from Amazon for free. It's supposed to be like their version of the Unique Lashes. I don't know how I feel like about it. I, I, I know how I feel about the actual mascara part. It's called M's Cosmetics. I know how I feel about the mascara part. It's one of those like stupid nasty gel ones that do nothing for you. And then you're supposed to use that. Then use the fibers and then use the gel. And then here are, you know, just the fibers. I'm going to keep the fibers. I am going to do that. I'm going to keep the fibers, but this mascara is completely and utterly fucking awful. So I will try the fibers with different mascara, but this shit's garbage. It's going. Um, I, I'll keep the case so that if I find a mascara that works well with the fibers, then at least, you know, I can just kind of keep them together. But otherwise, this was just, like, a fail, and then it didn't get a good review when I reviewed it on Amazon. It was junk. So, there's that. Um, you know, I keep it real with you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest. All right, let's just keep going. This is going to be a minute. Um, a Mary Kay lip sample of lipstick. No big deal. Um... A Bosha purifying cleansing gel used one time. Like, you know, I love Bosha. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin 5.0. Um, this was really, really dark, so I used it to contour. But I do really like the Naked Skin. So I did, even though it was really dark when it was sent to me, I kept it and I used it because I really liked it. So I did use it to contour. 
Um, this is the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminizing Base. I really liked this. Can't afford it, but it was nice to use a few times. Um, we have some mascaras here. Let's um, save the mascaras for last because I've been on a mascara kick lately. and um, So I used um, their Real Benefit. This was a um, the remover. Sorry, I would not purchase it, but I used the sample. This is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I had not even had it for 12 months. It was so beautiful. It looks like it's still good. It smells like straight up fucking cat piss. I will not put this on my eyes. And I am terrified to buy another one. This is in Confetti. I have two more colors. And I've had them even longer than when I decided to get rid of this. And the other colors are fine. This literally smells like a cat pissed in it. I don't even own a cat. So I was like, something's wrong. I emailed the company and I let them know like, hey... Something's up with your product, like, just to let you know, FYI, heads up. I don't know if they ever fixed the problem. I might. Yeah, it just smells like straight cat piss. It's disgusting. So we're just going to throw it away because um, this was another Urban Decay Naked Skin. It was an 8.0, which is extremely dark. I added Kat Von D's white, the lightest shade that she has. Foundation, Alicia sent it to me. I can't remember what the number is on it, but it's the one that literally makes your skin look white. So I add that to stuff that's too dark, and I made a contour shade out of this. Um, this was the Naked 3.5. Again, added a little, you know, white to it. Contour. Um, and then this was the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. I have... I got three sets of these in the mail. They mailed them to me. I gave a set to my mom. Um, it's literally just like a little envelope with a little like thing on it. It's just one of those things. You're actually supposed to fold it in half and then like put it on your lips. But I just used the lip brush so I would get more product because it has like little bumps on it. So you don't get all the product off. So I used the lip brush for it. I really like it. Actually, I really like this lipstick. And if I could afford it, I would totally buy it. Okay, I bought this twice, and I, actually, I've had it come in a box, and I have purchased it. It is the e.l.f. Volumizing and Defining Mascara. It is another one like that gel one that I just showed you, where it's, it does fucking nothing, and it's a waste of money. It might be a dollar, but don't spend your money on it. The exact same thing, we got this, the MD Flow, sorry, I'm shaking my computer. Um, that MD Flow bullshit from BoxyCharm that everybody was having problems with, and they're like, oh, pump it several times. You're not supposed to pump your mascara to get air in it. Like, oh, this, oh, that. I tried using it again. It's that gel mascara that does nothing for you. There is no volume, there is no nothing. It is a mess. Goodbye. This is the e.l.f. waterproof lengthening volume mascara it was all right i'm i actually used it all um i had bought it for a funeral and i used it several times um is it like a dollar like i didn't you don't get a whole lot of use out of it because literally like the tube like this big and it's just not a whole lot of product in there but for bug you, you can't complain used that up that is gone so let's get on to some better products this makes me very sad. Um, it's the Smashbox 24 Hour um, Photo Finish Shadow Primer. It kind of is a little bit oily, so if you have oily lids, you don't want to use it. But it works really, really, really good for mineral eyeshadows and you know eyeshadows that are a little bit harder to work with because there's something about a little uh, a primer that's just a slightly bit oily. Not a lot. You don't want like oils like I. But it makes it kind of stick better. There was no creasing. There was no nothing. This, I don't know if this is full size or not, but I got it for free from Sephora. So I think it's deluxe. But, like, it lasted me forever, and it makes me sad that it went bye-bye. I got this for free for review. This is um, by Fox Brim. It's Orange Blossom Water Toner. I used this on my face. It made my face, I didn't break out from it at all. It smells really good. 
Um, it is very expensive. It's like twenty something dollars a bottle. Um, it is completely worth it. You can find it on Amazon. Just search Fox Brim. They have a ton of products. Um, and it's steam distilled. And it's just literally orange blossom water. That is all it is. And it's in a great toner. I really do like this one. I completely used up the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. I did like it. It did work for my skin. But I don't know if I will repurchase it right now because my skin's acting funky. So until I can figure out what's going on, I'm not really trying to buy a bunch of foundations. It did have that funky wand to it that had the drop thing on it but it worked well and I liked it so maybe in the future sorry this is a mess um I did use up the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser um this is one of those silicone base that's supposed to fill in all your pores blah 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 I hate these face primers um Alicia sent it to me I used it, but I will never repurchase it because it is a silicone based one and I just don't like them. I'd rather use like a really good moisturizer or the Nivea Men's Shave Balm, After Shave Balm. That's the best one I've ever found. Um, so anything that's silicone, it just really doesn't sit well on my skin. It eventually balls up my um, foundation. And actually, let's just be real, I don't wear a lot of foundation unless it's like a really big occasion. I will still contour on my face, but my face, my complexion's pretty good most of the time that I don't really need foundation, and most people can't tell that I'm not even wearing foundation. So, um, thank you, Alicia, for sending it to me. I did use it all up, but I will not um, purchase it. I did use up the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. It's pretty much the same thing as that Maybelline one I just showed you. They're, like, legit, like, the same freaking thing. Same color, same texture, same coverage. So I loved it. If my skin stops acting funky and goes back to the way it used to be, I would repurchase either one of them. I used up an Olay Hendrick. I actually used up like three of these. Olay Hendrickson Sheer Transformation, just the face cream. I love this stuff at night. Like it's super moisturizing. And I did use up like three of them. I used up a vitamin C serum that I did get for free for review from Amazon. It's by COS Naturals, um, and it is an anti-aging treatment. It was okay. It was just a serum. Nothing special. I'm not going to buy it again. It was sent to me for free for review. They got a good review. It worked nice. Um, I probably will save the bottle. We'll see. I will probably clean it out um, real good and resave it because I do like these dropper bottles and they're kind of expensive online to buy. So I probably will go ahead and reuse that. Alright, this is not completely empty, but we're going to talk about how much I hate this freaking product. Let's just talk about it right now. This is Josie Marin Argan Oil Mascara. I used, it's the black oil. I used my points for it. It was like 100 points. It is complete and utter fucking garbage. When you put it on, the brush is like you would think it would be like an amazing brush. Like, look at the fucking brush on that. That's awesome. The bristles are so, and I just got it on my finger. The bristles are so soft. You literally have to like get like completely, you have to lift your eye up like this so that you don't get mascara all over your eyelid start at the base and like just wiggle it back and forth and then like your it, it'll give you like insane volume insane intensity like and it looks great for 20 fucking minutes and then the tips completely flake off and you have these black flakes for the rest of the day and it is hard to get off because it's like oil based i will never buy this i do not recommend it i hate this product and I am not a Josie Marin fan anyways, so this completely also just made it a hundred times worse for the brand. Ew, no. I have another, this is a mascara primer from e.l.f. Um, I used it, but primers to me do nothing, so I think they're just kind of pointless. I won't buy it again. I think it came in one of my boxes, though. I used a, I will probably say this wrong, 
the Loctane um, Cream Comfort. Um, just it's a light cream face cream. I used it up. I liked it. It was pretty good. All right, what do we got here? We have three perfumes. They are Victoria's Secret, the ones that I had gotten for free. This is my absolute favorite in the world, and I got so many compliments on it. I really do need to buy a full bottle of it. I don't know how much it costs. It's the Rose Violet. I'm going to save this bottle simply so I can remember what it was that I wanted. Um, because otherwise, I'll never remember what the scent was. This one was Pure Seduction. Smells like Pure Seduction. I had like the full size bottles before. Loved it. You know, whatever. These go really quick because they're really little. There's like not a lot of product in them. This one was Hypnotized. And it's really fresh and really clean. It kind of reminds me to, uh, reminds me of that Puerto Rico one or whatever from Avon that they sold like 10 years ago. And I like it. We're getting there, I promise. So this is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I got a sample of it. It's in Vanilla O2. I actually have the full-size bottle of it. I'm almost out, and when I am finished with that, like, that's why I'm looking for a new foundation. I do like it, but because of skin freaking out and whatnot, you know, I really don't know if I'm going to keep buying it or whatnot. But it does work. Vanilla 2 works perfect for my skin tone, and I do like it. Um, another one, it's Love Spell for the perfume. Another one, we have Aqua Kiss. I'm telling you, I went through these like crazy. Like, there isn't very much in it. It's 7 milliliters. So, like, 3 or 4 times and it's gone. This one's really good, too. One thing that made me really sad is my liquid sugar from eye candy is gone i use this to you can use it as a glitter base you can use it as a eyeliner sealer or eyeshadow sealer or like a mixing medium to make an eyeliner but i have other ones that are better alicia has one on her website um sneak preview i guess if you want to call that um that i like i actually like hers the best out of all of them that i found to make a powder shadow into a liner so, yeah, I'm sad this is gone. I've had it for a long time, but I used it up. We're done. Um, I used this gloss. Like, it's by Sassy and Chic, which is that brand at Dollar Tree. So, it was a dollar. Like, this was the most moisturizing, like, gloss. It has a little shimmer in it, and it was tinted pink. And it, But it just went on, like... It felt like water on your lips, and it felt so good, and it was like that glossy gloss shine that I love. I'm a lip gloss whore. I have always loved lip gloss. I don't care how old I am. I will always have lip gloss. And it was a buck. Totally will repurchase. Um, let's just keep going. I used up a L'Oreal Paris, the Super Slim Infallible Liquid Eyeliner. It's... Oh, well, I thought I used it up. Now, all of a sudden, it wants to have ink in it. It wasn't showing up at all. The last time I tried to use it, I could not use it at all. Like, okay, I guess we're keeping this. Apparently, it works all of a sudden. I swear to you. Oh, no. This is why we're getting rid of it. It bleeds. Do you see it bleeding in the crack? It wasn't, uh, my bad, it wasn't that it wasn't working anymore. It, like, bleeds. Like, I don't know if you can tell. I'll pull back. I'll even do, like, a bigger swatch so that you can get more product on there. And you can just see, like, it bleed across my hand. Like, there's still, like, a lot in here, but it bleeds. And I don't want that on my eyelids. Yeah, it's just like bleeding. Like, look at these lines. It's literally just bleeding into the crack of my hand. So that's not something I want to mess up my makeup. I don't want to do all this nice eyeshadow and then my eyeliner just bleed all over the place. So that goes bye-bye. And I want to get this off my hand before I regret. Oh! 
I'm starting to regret putting it on. Okay. So I have this NARS Audacious Mascara. The brush is fucking awesome. I really, really loved this. Um, I got it either as a point perk or a free sample or whatever. <sighs> really good mascara. I recommend it. It was amazing. Completely in love with it. I would totally buy this. I would buy it. Absolutely. 100%. Um, this is Ole Hendrickson, the sheer transformation, but they changed the bottle. So, I mean, like I told you, I went through like three or four of these. I went through my favorite perfume. I have to buy this online. You can no longer find it anywhere. It is Ragdoll and it is Jack and Sally, you know, the Jack and Sally Ragdoll. They had, um, Jack Skellington as one and Ragdoll is the other. A hot Topic back in like 2006, 2007. They've changed the formula so it doesn't smell the same. So you have to get the old formula on eBay. It's like 30 bucks. I'm going to keep the bottle and put it on my shelf in my office because it's Sally. But like the sprayer won't get down to the rest of this. So what this little bit that's left in here I can't even get to to use. But I do love it. It is my absolute favorite perfume in the entire world. Another Victoria's Secret one in Rush. Um, another little, this is Michael Kors Wonderlust perfume. I really, really like this. It smelled really good. Another Olay Hendrickson. This was the Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. I used almost all of it up. I can't really get the rest of it out of there. I was using a Q-tip to kind of get the rest. It's just pretty much done. But it smells like cucumbers, and it's really nice. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Mascara Top Coat. It's supposed to waterproof, and it's clear. Any mascara, it doesn't work. Um, so don't buy it. This is a OCC Lip Tar Test Tube in Lovecraft. I completely used it up. It's gone. This is Smashbox Full Exposure um, Mascara. I really did like it, and I used it up. A lot of people say they don't like the Smashbox one, but I do. Told you I'm a mascara whore. This is ridiculous. I have two more of the Michael Kors Wonderlust ones. Um, I did use up the Malin and Goat's Mojito Lip Balm. I really, really did like this. It came in an Ipsy bag, and I thought I was going to hate it. This is Peachy Sangria Perfume Oil Roller Ball from um, Rainbow Honey. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but it's gone. Um, here we have Buxom. Vanity Lash Mascara. I really, really did like this one. There's another one. Because, you know, like it has, like, the cheetah print or whatever. There's another one with, like, the zebra on it that I just don't like as much. This one has the hot pink wand. This is the one that I really, really liked. So, I would recommend this one. We're getting, we're getting there. I promise. Um, I have a couple more perfumes. I have Viva La Juicy Noir. Of course, I love Viva La Juicy. And then I have... YSL Mom Paris, which was also really good. I have my Scone Tattoo Liner. Very sad that it's dried out now. Um, they are so good, and Ipsy has deals on them, so I will probably repurchase off of Ipsy, because that's where I got it eventually. Let's be real. I hate these. I get them for free all the time. The Benefit They're Real Push-Up Liner. Like, it's garbage. I won't even use them. I give them away. I didn't, this is still, like, got product in it, but it just, like, flakes, and it's so hard to use. This I really, really loved. It's the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Mattifying Prep Gel. So it's a primer, but it helps with breakouts, and it's mattifying, and I really love it. This is a good product. I had a bunch of those, too. This I got, it's called the Razor Sharp Water Resistant Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Perversion from Urban Decay. It was this tiny little, like, eyeliner with this tiny little thing. And I really like it, but it's just, it's gone. It's had its 
it's, it's done. But I really liked that it was a small, and I could just do small liner with it. That really made me happy. Okay, so this was the one I was talking about. The Lord and Berry that I had three of. I'm now down to two. It's this little, and I'm losing it in the cap. It's time for it to go. Amazing for tight lining. I kept getting them in empty bags. I'm like, why do you keep sending me the same thing? I'm glad they did. I have two more. I will continue to use them, but this one has... It's just in black silk, and it's, it's gone. Bye-bye. Um, this is uh, Model Co. More Brows. I really did enjoy it. I like it, but um, Ulta has the same thing in their own brand, which is what I'm using right now. Works just as good, so I'm cool. I, I don't use bra products enough to really make a difference. This is a sample of Benefit Girl Meets Pearl Highlight. Um, I just didn't use it fast enough in the jar. Um, I will clean out the jar and reuse the jars because I use the jars for like the tons and tons of samples of shadows that Alicia sends me and I forever need jars. So I will clean this out and wash it and everything and reuse the jar. But it dried up inside and I just didn't get to it. I don't think it was, it wasn't really a bad product or anything. I just didn't use it in time. Jars with liquid or creams tend to dry out faster. It's just how it is. Um, YSL Black Opium is a, one of my other favorite perfumes. I use this up. I've had several scents. I love it. If I could afford to buy like a massive bottle of it, I would. This is an Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, but it's like the fake one I got off of Wish. It's completely dried up. It was the gold color. It worked like three times. It was like a dollar. Like, whatever. Screw it. Uh, we're almost done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Balm is gone. I would repurchase this again. It is a very good lip balm. I am not a Mary Kay fan. You know that. You know I used to sell it. We've talked about this. But I would repurchase this. Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I get the mini size, you know, deluxe sizes all the time from Sephora. I've gone through a ton of them. Love them. But I like Alicia's setting spray better, so I use that now. Um, I do have a Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow Lash, whatever, mascara for your brows and your lashes. It's completely disgusting, which is why I'm getting rid of it. It's supposed to be clear. It is, like, brown because of the um, eyebrow powder that I was using for so long. If you do, like, tap it down or whatever, there's only, like, that much left in it. It's a dollar. It's really, really good. So I'll just repurchase another one, but it's time for it to go. And I do have other, um, of them. This Kat Von D liner, I might keep it. The other day it was giving me a hard time. Like, it wasn't making a line for me. And now it, now that I'm like, oh, it's empty... I don't know. It's kind of like, you know what? I might save it just a little bit longer and try to get a little more use out of it. It's the ink um, liner. The This is the felt tip one. I do have two of the brush tip ones. So we'll keep it and try to get a couple more uses out of it. But it is really on its last leg. The last time I tried to even just swatch it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I should even try to put that on my eyes. Because I don't think I'll get a full wing out of it. But we'll see. And then the last thing is Island in the Sky Perfume Mist from Rainbow Honey. Just a little tiny perfume. It smelled really good. Um, and that is gone. So that is the makeup I have used up in the last six months. Come January or February, there will be, I'm sure, a full mother bucket waiting for you guys. And that is it. And I will see you guys later.